The 2002 Karachi bus bombing was one of a series of deadly strikes on Westerners in Pakistan in 2002. The blast killed at least 13 people and another 40 were wounded. The attack took place in Karachi, Sin details. On May 8, 2002, a man driving a car bomb stopped next to a bus in Karachi outside the Sheraton Hotel. He detonated the car, ripping the bus apart, and killing himself, 11 Frenchmen, and two Pakistanis. The 11 Frenchmen were engineers working with Pakistan to design an Agosta 90B-class submarine for the Pakistani Navy. About 40 others were wounded. Al-Qaeda was blamed for the blast. On September 18, 2002, a man named Sharib Zabair, who was believed to have masterminded the attack, was arrested. In 2003, two men were sentenced to death for the bombing by a Karachi court. The suspected bomb maker, Mufti Mohammed Sabir, was arrested in Karachi on September 8, 2005. There were several convictions in the case, though Pakistani courts acquitted three defendants by 2009. Karachi Gate Contrary to official announcements by both the Pakistani and French governments at the time, it is now thought unlikely that those responsible for the attack had links to al-Qaeda. In 2007, anti-terrorism judge Jean-Louis Briguier, assigned to lead the investigation into the bombing, is replaced by two investigating magistrates, Mark Trevidich and Renaud Van Ruimbeket. Mark Trevidich opens a new direction in the investigation, namely that the attack was linked to the halting of commission payments. The resulting scandal has been dubbed Karachi Gate. An investigation is currently underway in France in order to establish the extent to which former Prime Minister Edouard Balladé and former President Nicolas Sarkozy were implicated in the sale of kickbacks to Pakistan officials. Sarkozy was allegedly involved in accepting kickbacks from Pakistan to fund the presidential campaign of Balada. When Jacques Chirac came to power, he cancelled the Pakistani officials' kickbacks, angering those in that country.